Senator Simon. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and my apologies for being here just very briefly, but we're voting in another committee, and I'm going to have to return there. Just a couple of general observations and then one specific question. One is I am concerned as I look at the NIH budget. I'm pleased that we're moving ahead on AIDS research. I hope we don't, as a result of AIDS research, pull back on research on cystic fibrosis, arthritis, cancer, everything else. Second, I join my colleague, Senator Metzenbaum, in uh, this tragic situation that uh, affects children, and I'm pleased that, uh, that you're going to uh, Atlanta and moving on this. Finally, and this is my question, I spoke a few weeks ago at uh, St. Peter's Lutheran Church in downtown in Manhattan in New York City. And uh, while I was there for that particular event, they mentioned they have a program to help AIDS victims. And they tell, told me how it emerged that they had one person in their congregation with AIDS. And uh, he mentioned there were others with problems. So once a week, they started having a meal and counseling for AIDS victims. They now have, in a short time, 55 AIDS victims showing up at this one church. There's obviously a desperate need both for the food, for, I guess, for the company, and for the counseling. Are we doing anything to encourage the private sector or public, se public agencies to get involved in that kind of thing? I think all of us who speak for the Public Health Service uh, out in <clears throat> the country, sir, uh, do uh, talk about the uh, effectiveness of the private sector in this regard and uh, encourage it to, uh, to function. Um, in preparing my report, I did meet with 26 uh, groups in the country that have interest in AIDS, and they included uh, the National Council of Churches, representing so many Protestant denominations, also the Baptist, the largest Protestant denomination. We met with the cardinals and the archbishops of the Roman Catholic Church, and also uh, with the Council of Synagogues. And uh, there is no doubt that uh, they may have been slow to awaken to this social responsibility but I would say that they all expressed a great eagerness uh, to go forward in the kinds of things that you've described at St. Peter's. And elsewhere, as you may know in New York, especially uh, under the auspices uh, of that uh, Roman Catholic Archdiocese, there has been a tremendous amount of work. St. Clair's Hospital, for example, is a haven uh, for AIDS victims, and it has outreach for halfway houses and so forth. So I would suspect over the next several years you would see uh, a tremendous increase in the response of the private sector, just as you saw at that church. Sir. Senator, yes. we have a, a four a major areas of our country with demonstration projects on managing and handling the AIDS patients. And I want to point out particularly that private foundations have a number more of the centers, too, funded by private sources. We're looking definitely toward that area of need to be served. I thank you.